Long Valley Caldera supervolcano is moving and experts are now concerned. It's on the Ring of Fire. It's also very close to the San Andreas Fault. It's also very close to another Ring of Fire supervolcano, Yellowstone. Experts are concerned because Long Valley Caldera Volcano is moving. This is by Susan Dulkus on the Daily Coin. Experts are concerned because Long Valley Caldera, a supervolcano, is moving. High numbers of earthquakes, indicators of pending volcanic eruption. Long Valley Caldera near Mammoth Lakes has experienced concern because of over the last 100 days, volcano has been acting up as News Prepper describes it, and the unusual amount of earthquakes that have hit Mammoth Lake over the last month means all eyes should be carefully watching these earthquakes, and especially this particular volcano. Quote, in 1915, Lassen Peak erupted and wrecked a huge portion of the state. Over the last 100 days, a much larger Long Valley caldera has been, began act acting up and what's going and what it's doing has geologists and the U.S. Geological Survey concerned. The caldera, the mouth of the volcano, is moving. According to scientific instruments monitored by the United States Geological Survey, USGS, the area and vicinity of the Long Valley caldera is deforming and moving rapidly compared to previous records. How sure are they? Quote, 95% confidence interval, the data assemble, is significant, end quote. The data is showing on a recent time span that the amount of movement is causing statistically significant strain in the rock in the area. This is not conspiracy theorist conjecture or amateur geology antics. This is from the USGS itself. The Long Valley Caldera eruption erupted the Bishop Ash 760,000 years ago. The volcanic eruption covered most of the southwestern United States, including Los Angeles, with ash. The continued volcanic activity which produced Mammoth Mountain with its popular ski slopes is still active and is being closely monitored by the U.S. Geological Survey. According to March reports found at AOL Science and Tech News, this massive supervolcano, quote, has the potential to unleash a fiery hell across the whole planet, and the magma-filled mountain has a history of doing so, end quote. While the article downplayed the likelihood of an imminent eruption, the article was written before the 1,000-plus earthquakes that are being reported now, and the article goes on to state, quote, Approximately 760,000 years ago, this supervolcano, in particular, had a massive eruption on an apocalyptic scale that blanketed the United States region in molten lava as well as ash. And if such were to occur again, molten rock would not only incinerate the Earth for thousands of miles, but the toxic ash spewing from the opening of the crust would temporarily block out the rays of the sun which scientists say would cause temperatures to fall to levels not seen since the Ice Age. Billions of people will be affected if this volcano blows, and the reason for the concern is not just over the activity of the last few days, as we see from the screenshots from the global incident map, and you can see that in the uh, article I'll leave below for you. That is just a small portion. We suggest people keep a close eye on the global incident map, specifically the earthquake hitting the Mammoth Lake area. Caltech has also been tracking the Mammoth Lake earthquakes. Now, the location of Long Valley Supervolcano is East California, USA, of course, with an area of 16 by 32 kilometers. Long Valley Caldera was formed around 760,000 years ago by the last super eruption of the volcano. The latest eruptions that happened in the caldera were only 50,000 years ago. That's not too far from the time span of 70,000 years ago when we saw the, saw, saw the smaller eruption from the nearby 
supervolcano of Yellowstone, though those were not of the same proportion of the one that made the caldera itself, the large eruption produced 600 cubic kilometers of material. About half the material was ejected as pyroclastic flow, the P flow as we know, which is very fast. It goes as, almost as fast as a jet airplane, about 450 miles an hour. The rest was blown about 40 kilometers into the atmosphere where the wind distributed as far as Kansas and Nebraska. The caldera is extinct, though the area is still thermally active with hot springs and fumaroles dotting around. Basically, the landscape is just as we see in Yellowstone. Seismic mapping shows that the magma underground is mostly crystallized, not molten anymore. Thermal energy has been utilized to make electricity for the surrounding area. A geothermal system inside the caldera fuels the Casa Diablo power plant. This power plant produces enough electricity to power 40,000 homes. The Long Valley caldera experienced periods of unrest over the last few decades. Earthquakes, ground bulging uplift, and volcanic gas emissions. The floor of the caldera is about 6,500 feet in the east and 8,500 feet in the west. The range of mountains surrounding the caldera are even higher, ranging up to 9,800 feet to 11,500 feet. The eruption that caused this massive caldera was compared to that of eruptions produced by Yellowstone supervolcano. Shortly after the eruption, a resurgent dome was formed in the center of the caldera. More domes formed in a series of smaller eruptions between 110,000 and 50,000 years ago, building a volcano that is now 11,059 feet in elevation. Because Long Valley has only ever experienced one super eruption, it's safe to predict that another one is unlikely to be coming soon, if at all. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.